What's up guys? Welcome back by this new video. A little bit late, but at least we're going to do the Great League. And today I'm going to test out Scrafty with Thunder Punch. And that's a new move set. Before Scrafty had Balrog Punch as its spray and Fall Players move set, and now they added Thunder Punch to it. So very nice. Great against flying types. And we will just test that one out. Scrafty, it's a uh, fighting and dark type. It has counter as fast move. And I put Thunder Punch and Fall Play as charge moves. And it will be assisted by Skarmory and Whimsicott. So let's hop into the first match and see how Scrafty does in Great League. So we're going first match against Alteration. Interesting name. We're starting Scrafty into... Swamp Bird, I think that's okay. But look at that damage output already from Scrafty. If they add Shadow Scrafty in the game, oh, that will be amazing. Absolutely. It will be a menace of a Pokemon. Opponent goes for Hydra Cannon. And the good thing again yeah, about Scrafty is it's tanky as well. It can think very simple one uh, Hydra Cannon. So. As you can see, I opponent tanked that move. Playing it through the CMP, unfortunately enough, losing it, but that's okay. I think I prefer to win the switch instead of winning shield advantage. I actually don't know if I want that, but you will know, see fall play. Maybe I can throw in Whimsicott. At least opponent uh, will be able to KO me with a Hydro Cannon here. I think Shield Advantage may be better because of my Skarmory. Oh no. Why does he has a Registeel in the bag? Oh, that's absolutely a terrible Pokemon. Going for Moonblast. Oh, it doesn't do much damage. As I would expect. Opponent goes here for a zap cannon. I can tank. That's not a problem. Zap cannon. Oh, luckily enough to get no attack drop. So I can go for another moon blast. Here. This moon blast will deal some damage as well. Unfortunately enough, no attack drop, but that's okay. Um. Yeah, I'm just feeling that I have to shield this. Once again, no attack drop. That's huge. Going down for a very simple moon blast once again. Hopefully, almost KOing it. I think I can go for the fairy wind. Yes, perfect. Really like that. Opponent in the back has got a Skarmory. That's quite bad. Going at least into my Moonblast to deal some okay damage. And in no way, I got an attack drop on the opponent. So uh, his Skarmory, he, he goes for um, a Hydro Cannon. That's yeah, a little bit annoying, but it's okay. Gives me a little bit of energy. Opponent cannot go for the Brave Bird right now. So that's huge. I will just wait. I think he made it to back to back sky attack, I think. I have to go for my back to back sky attack. That's the only option to win this match. Go for another sky attack. Will this be able to KO the opponent? I really hope. Otherwise it's a little bit sad. No. On one HP, with bit with but wait, I have still my whimsicott on one HP left. I don't know why. Opponent sky attacks, going into whimsicott, and it's a simultaneous KO. So very interesting. We are not having, yeah, I think we never got mm -hmm. actually simultaneous KO at in the first match. 
of a, of a video, so very interesting. At least we're going against Fulna Oxpedia, something like that. We starting great into Steelix, definitely staying in. Look at that damage output already. Opponent goes for breaking swipe, I would expect. I actually don't know. No, just the psychic things. So throwing nicely on alignment, this fall play, unfortunately enough. No power up punch, but that's okay. Fall play can do some decent damage. I can continue here and counter down before the opponent makes it to another move. That's huge. Opponent goes into Levian. I will switch into Whimsicott. I think that's the best Pokemon to throw in at the moment. However, opponent, unfortunately enough, has got um, a chandelier that I don't like. So I have to go in for the seat bomb. Got shielded. So that's okay. Oh, I, I'm just uh, one turn short of making it to, uh, yeah, how it's called. Um, I lost the name of a seat bomb. Going here for the Thunder Punch to deal some chip damage. The, but I think that, yeah, opponent already KO'd me. So it's all up to Skarmory right now, but the problem with Skarmory is opponent has an incinerator and can just absolutely KO me. So Flame Charge boosting his her own attack once again. And even losing the CMP. Ah, oh, this is really, and really unfortunate. But really nice played, so, um, yeah, into the third match, I would say. We going against Miko Demus. Starting, ooh, into a bad lead, absolutely core breaker, so switching straight into my Whimsicott. I think that's a better lead, opponent switches out into Scrafty. Uh, no, not the Scrafty, I mean Skarmory. <laughs> Still begins with an S. So going here for Moonblast to deal some okay damage into that Skarmory. That's okay, I will continue. Opponent isn't making a move, probably saving up to potential Brave Bird, I would expect. So I'm going here for Moonblast. That's dealing okay, solid damage. I will switch into my own Skarmory. I think that's the best to throw in at the moment. Opponent goes for Brave Bird, I can tank. Not a problem. Oh, don't say that he made it to another Brave Bird. That will be really, and really unfortunate. Yeah, there's another Brave Bird. Ah, oh, no way. So which Pokemon will the opponent throw in? We're seeing a return of his Gligar. I will throw in my Brave Bird. The opponent will probably shield it. Yeah. It was just a little bit of a lucky throw. But yeah, my Scrafty. I have to shield probably twice. I would expect. That's okay. I will continue going here for foul play. Opponents may not shoot this, I hope. Okay, that's great. He makes it to another aerial ace, I can tank. Absolutely not a problem. But I won't be able to make it to another move. Because opponent already made it to another wing attack. He's just super fast. Aerial Ace almost KOs me. Going here for the Thunder Punch. Um, Thunder Punch gets rid of that Gligar. An opponent in the back has got an Annihilate, so a completely bad team against me. Absolutely couldn't do anything against it. So, oops, into uh, the fourth match with two and a half lose. Yeah. 
we're going against Philberg. Something like that. Starting, unfortunately enough, into Shadow Gligar. Yeah. It's not great. <laughs> I will shield this move. I think I really need to do that. Opponent Aerial Ace is me. Going here for Seed Bomb. Hopefully this one will be shielded. I really hope. No. Oh, sure. You have to be kidding me. Um, no, I will let it go. I think Whimsicott did his job. Maybe I had to go for the Moon Blast. But it's okay. Um, yeah, I will wait. The switch timer, then switching out into my Skarmory. I can absolutely not go for the farm down. Because opponent came back with an Annihilate, so going here for Sky Attack. I have to go for this move. Sky Attack got shielded. Okay, I will trust that this move will be a Night Slash. It's a huge risk. It's a Shadow Ball. <gasps> Wait, I can tank. Oh, no one. Just 5 energy, short of making it to a move and I've lost the game. I absolutely cannot win. You have to be kidding me, why is it so bad? Yeah, maybe because I'm just after midnight recording this, but it's okay. Um, yeah, I would say let's hop into the last match of the first streak. Against B4 Tfei. Or something like that. Ah oh, no, not into that Annihilate once again, switching into Whimsicott, forcing the opponent to switch, switching into Skarmory, that's okay. I'm going into a Moonblast, that's the best move I can possibly throw in. Moonblast, no attack lowerness, unfortunately enough, but that's okay. Going here for another moon blast then. I think that's the best solution I can go for. Ah, oh, this is really bad. I'm just in a really and really weak spot. I think for me the best option is to throw in my Scrafty. And hopefully opponent isn't going for Brave Bird. That's my only option. So there's the Brave Bird. Oh, I can't survive it on 1 HP. So this will be a complete risk of having my... Yeah, I've lost. Why do we see once again an Annihilate? Yesterday we absolutely didn't saw... I think only one Annihilate. Oops, I've lost. I've won only in half times. Oh, this is really weak. But yeah, really nice blade. Um, into the yeah the second streak, I would say. First mm. match. We going against Power Guy. Forty seven, with a zero. Starting into a victory bell. Very interesting one. Um. Yeah, I can definitely stay in here. I think that's solid. Going here for very simple fall play, trying to get a shield from the opponent. No, not getting it. Can I go? No, I cannot go for the counter farm. Then opponent switches out to Whimsicott. That means I can go into my Skarmory like the other people did that. So this is completely fine. Absolutely loving this opponent moon blast this and he commits no way that's amazing Absolutely love that Um. So yeah one win into the second match of the same streak We're going against Milo Starting crafty 
into Chalicent. Oh, um, yeah, this is very nice, actually. I found a bunch, so I can absolutely test it out. An opponent brought in, she brought in a Venusaur. So that means I can just absolutely handle this Pokemon with my Skarmory. I will make it to a back-to-back -back Sky Attack. I think that's the best. Opponent cannot do any kind of damage into me because of the grass and poison typing both double not very effective. So absolutely amazing frenzy plant I can tank. Here comes my sky attack. Uh Kayong the opponent. So that's really nice. Uh, opponent brings back their Jellicent. I'm just going straight up for that Brave Bird. No baiting or anything. Just going straight for the Brave Bird. Got Shielded. That's really nice. So I have one Switch and Shield Advantage. This time going just for Sky Attack. That's the best. If not, yeah, if not got something really special, but that's okay. Sky Attack. Got Shielded as well. Opponent will farm me down right now, but that's totally fine. And deserved. So going back into Scrafty. Opponent will make it to back to back um, Surf. So that's okay. There's the first Surf. Opponent switches out into Alolan Ninetales, losing the CMP. But I can tank the Weather Ball, so not a problem. Not, that's a very annoying Pokemon, actually. Here comes my Thunder Punch. I will save my Scrafty for the Jellicent, if I really need that. The only thing I just need to make it is to a uh, Moonblast. So we will try to do that. Going to shield this Weather Ball, otherwise I will be dead very fast. One, two... Three, four. I could have made it to a seed bomb, but yeah, Moonblast is a little bit better. And I don't want to risk it. So Moonblast KO's the opponent. Okay, she goes into Jellicent. I will risk a, a Surf Bait. It's a Shadow Ball. No, don't say that I've messed up. I've messed up. <laughs> Going here for foul play. Foul play won't KO the opponent, so I've lost. Oh, 1 HP. Or, yeah, 3 HP, I would say. Yeah, I've messed up. I just had to shield it. I really hoped for potential surf attack, like we see right now. That's, yeah, just my mistake. Um... Just had to shield it. <laughs> but at least into the third match mm. of the same streak, one win to one lose. Going against Honda Fact. Scrafty into. Uh, yeah. Skarmory. I have got the Thunder Punch. So this makes this lead a lot better. Absolutely. Thunder Punch and Scrafty. Yeah, does some decent damage. Absolutely love that. I think I can just counter down at the moment. So going to shield. And I think I can just counter down. Yes, perfect. Love that. So made it to a ton of energy. An opponent goes into a double. Very interesting Pokemon. So I'm going for Fall Play here. I think that's the best. Okay, going this time for the bait move with a Thunder Punch. A little bit cheaper. I think 5 energy. It's cheaper. Oh, no, not a shield. I think opponent commits. Will he commit? No, but in the back he... It's got the Sable Eye, so I will just finish it a little bit faster than with his Crafty. Going into Whimsicott and then only a Moonblast. Oh no, he commits. Okay, 
that's great. So two wins into one lose into the fourth match of the second streak. We're going against uh, Suhei or something like that. Starting yeah, starting quite neutral, super effective thing. It's crafty into uh, Figaro. Oh no, I have to stay in one, two from the punch. Yeah, I have. To, I just have to stay in because uh, opponent is a fire type. My back line is completely weak to fire. One, two from the punch. Hoping that I can KO the opponent at the moment will absolutely be great. Oh, wait, I can just KO. No way. Opponent goes for a move, he can have me. Absolutely fine. Okay, so that's great. Absolutely didn't expect it that. Going into Whimsicott. Um, I'll let this go. It will be a body slam, so that's fine. I'll go for a bait with a seed bomb. I think that's actually the best thing to do right now. Seed bomb won't be shielded. Switching into a skarmory, making actually a beautiful and beautiful catch. Love that. So bones will probably switch as well. And in the back, we're seeing an Annihilate. I have got a safe Seed Bomb ready. So the only thing I have to do is to make it to two Sky Attacks. And then I have did my job. No! Opponent got an Attack Boost. Oh, that's the most stupid thing you can have right now. Going at least for Sky Attack here once again. I think that's the best I can possibly go for. I'm um, going to shield. There's another night slash. Another attack boost. I cannot make it to another move. No, no. Look at that neutral. Oh my gosh. Why did he got two times boost? I know it can happen. It happened a couple of times to me as well. But Ice Punch, very interesting. But. Yeah, still, oh, very annoying. Otherwise, I would have won, absolutely. This was just very and very unlucky. So, two wins, mm. no, two loses into one win, I think. Or, no, two wins into two loses, yeah. Get into the last match of the same streak. We're starting for absolutely great, crafty into a Pharaoh Torn. Opponent switches out into a wish cache, so I'm going into my whimsy card, going for the same seed bomb. I think that's the best move to go for. Will absolutely deal some decent damage. However, opponent to use a shield. You know, I have just a little bit of a feeling that the opponent may just have get a blizzard on him. No, okay, no blizzard. Oh, that's very comfortable for me. Otherwise, it will be really bad. So, opponent goes for Scald. Sure, got an attack drop. Going here for the Seed Bomb. Um, oh no, even not KOing the opponent. And the problem is, I have to Fairy Wind down. So there's the mud pump, and I will just ferry went down perfectly. So opponent goes into a trapion, that's fine. Going here for a moon blast. Great damage, love that. So I think for me the best option is to go into an my skarmory. And then save my Scrafty for that Fair Torn. Opponents will go for Crunch.
Oh no, Equitil, I can think. Gunk's Crafty. Gunk for the counter. Opponent goes into Ferrothorn. Giving him a free. Oh no, not. A... Oh, he commits. Okay. <laughs> so that's great. Yeah, I don't have to do anything. Yeah, so that's great. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing to say about this. Just a great game it was. And great lead. So three wins. A total we have three and a half win. So we have to win at least four times to make it to seven and a half wins. But yeah, we'll just see. Marini, almost Hundo. Um, I'm getting some rare candies. Those are nice for Madrid Go Fest that I will participate in. So I have to uh, pre record some videos. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I can fix that without a problem. Mm -hmm. So right now into the third and final streak. First match against Slowly Worm. Going, starting Scrafty into Kamo. That's a really interesting one. I know four times, two, three, four. Switching into Whimsic card. Oh, I wanted to make a catch. Opponent goes into Shadow Type Lotion. Oh, that's a really and really bad Pokemon for me. Because it has uh, new SS2, Thunder Punch, opponent isn't even shielding. So, uh, I'm going here at least then for that Thunder Punch. I think that's the best I can go for. Will be shielded. Absolutely. Yeah, I think opponents will go for Thunder Punch as well. Um, but that's fine. Blast Burn. No, just a Blast Burn. Um, so we will see another Blast Burn here. There's the second Blast Burn. Okay, I can actually counter down. Perfect. Switching into Skarmory, beautiful catch. Love that. There's the close co no, it's a close combat. Oh, you have to be kidding me. We will see another close combat incoming. You have to be kidding me. That's bad. That KOs my Skarmory. Opponent in the back has got um, a Shadow Victory Bell, and I think even Fall Play won't be able to KO. So Thunder Punching, yeah, we can test it out, but I think Power Up Punch would be, yeah, more important to it. Yeah, I won't KO. Yeah, but if I used Power Up Punch on it, I would have been able to KO. So yeah, that's un unlucky a little bit. But it's okay. Really nice play by the opponent. Couldn't do much. Um, so yeah, one lose already. I have to win the all the other matches. So into the second match of the third streak. Going against Riot Gason. Starting into Hisuian Electrode. Really interesting one. Yeah, this is probably a wild charge switch tactic. Opponent will then switch into Dragonair. I will throw a fall play and after this fall play I will switch into my Skarmory because Skarmory is weak to that Hisuian Electrode. And he can uh, Tank those body slams slash aqua tails perfectly. So that's fine. I will just let it go. Opponent aqua tails and I'm nicely oh both can make it to another aqua tail. A little bit unlucky, but it's okay. 
opponent, there's the anchor tail, I can tank. And the opponent will return to his... Oh! Seeing something else. A Dugong incoming, that means I'm going for Sky Attack. I think that's the best. Opponent shields, that's huge. Then I can make to the Brave Bird to deal a chunk of damage. I think that's the best. Oh, opponent shielded it. Okay. Um, I don't think I can make it to a Thunder Punch yet. So I have to go here for some little counter moves. But that's okay. There's the Icy Wind. There's the switch into that Yusuian Electrode. Opponent probably goes for a Wild Charge, I would expect. Yeah, there's the Wild Charge. Not risking anything. I'm just going for the very simple Seed Bump to KO this Yusuian Electrode. That's the best. An opponent has to throw in the move. No, he is not throwing in the move. So I can just go for the seed bomb. Deal some decent damage. Phew, always KOing the Dugong. He has to throw a move, but he's just lost the game. He cannot do anything against it. So I've won. There's the Icy Wind. And there, here comes Crafty in Counterstown. So that's great. Absolutely, absolutely love that. So, um, one win to one lose, if I'm right, into the third match of the third streak. We're going against Jay Finastella. Starting Scrafty into Shadow Shift Tree. My entire team is great into Shadow Shift Tree. And the opponent switches out into Licky Tongue. That's huge. Um, but because this is a Licky Tongue and I'm Scrafty, I think for me the best thing is to switch into my Skarmory. I think that's the best. Because opponent cannot do anything with that Body Slam or Power Whip move. So I can perfectly just go here maybe even for complete farm down it will be little risk but yeah we'll just see opponent body slams me i will continue with that steel wing i think i can just commit to it and just let it go absolutely not a problem make it to yeah, just a little bit over the 100 energy. There comes the Diggers B. So opponent is just absolutely core broken by actually my entire team. <laughs> That's quite fun to see. I will throw in another Brave Bird. That's the best. After this Brave Bird, I will switch into my Scrafty. Opponent probably makes it to Scorching Sand, but I can tank it. Not a problem. No, just a Fire Punch makes it even better. There comes uh, that Shadow Shift tree and opponent commits. So that's really nice. So two wins into one lose into the fourth match of the third streak. And two matches to go. Mm. And if I win those two, I can make at least two seven and a half wins. So... The team was okay. We're going at least against Vin Mai. Interesting name. Starting into a Gligar. Really bad for me. Switching into Whimsicott straight opponent. Oof. Goes into uh, Skeledurge. I'm going perfectly on the CMP. Throwing in a Moonblast. Seeing if the opponent maybe shields. Oh, she shields, or he shields. <laughs> I'm not trying to make it to the n another moon blast. I won't be able to do that. So I have to go here for seed pump. Little chip damage. 
it's crafting time. I, I just have to shield, no other option. Opponent uh, will go for two disarming voices. Yeah, those are both dealing double super effective damage, so very painful. But the opponent needs to make it do two more incinerates for another disarming voice. I will go for the Thunder Punch. Trying to KO the opponent here, or at least getting the final shield. Perfect. So one, two, switching, catching. Perfect. Maybe I will be some kind of incinerated down. Maybe that there's a little chance of that. But yeah, this is my best thing I possibly potentially could do. I can make it to last second sky, sky attack, no way. Otherwise I will be shadow balled. That's huge. So sky attack. KO'd that Skeledurge. No, opponent has a lantern. Why do we see a lantern right now? And there's still a Gligar in the back, so I think, yeah, I've lost. I have to commit. Can I absolutely cannot win this. Really nice play. It just had a better team against me. So into the last match of this video. We made it right now to... Wait, we got one win? I think I made it counting. No, we made zero wins at first. So five and a half wins can make it to six and twelve wins so we're going starting into our oh, not a skeleturge every pokemon will be okay only this one not this one <laughs> going for a thunder punch straight on the cmp i think that's the best thunder punch got shielded that's huge two one so opponent made it to three um, incinerates, that's okay. Disarming voice, one, two, three. So, two more, and then opponent can make it to another disarming voice. So, one, two, going for um, a thunder punch here, that's the best. No, opponent didn't shield. So I don't care. <laughs> oh no, this is really bad. I think I, I will lose once again. Absolutely terrible. It was just a little risk to throw in the move. I can at least... Oh no, giving her a free incinerate. That's even more painful. -er. Seed bomb, got shielded. No, don't say that she goes for an incinerate farm down. Oh, please. And don't say that I just lose this game because of a Skeller Dirge. Yesterday, we didn't even saw any kind of Skeller Dirges. Don't say it. Uh, yeah, just Skeller Dirge hour or something like that. Shadow Ball, massive damage. I cannot even come KO this Pokemon. Uh, very annoying. Opponent Azumarill. Oh, I never will be able to KO this team. Giving even a free bubble. But at least, yeah, yeah I've just lost. But I won't commit to the last final match. Just a little bit. Not fun to do that. So I will let her finish me off. And she, yeah, she just started with a better, yeah, dream lead. <laughs> Pokemon. So couldn't do much against it. Um... So yeah, five and a half wins, absolutely bad, but it's okay. At least my opinion about Scrafty with Thunder Punch is, yeah, it's great. I would say against those Pokemon like Azumarill, especially just a pure water type. Like, I would say Type Lotion as well. But yeah. In the other scenarios, only not fighting types like I'm a champ, but we didn't saw that Pokemon or other fighting types. Thunder Punch is better than 
foul play, but yeah, I think I prefer the power up punch a little bit more than the thunder punch because Scrafty is quite of a high attacker. And with power up punch, you can even raise that attack. So yeah, that's because just my opinion, but very fun Pokemon. I think it could be an improvement of it, but actually not really as well. Just a little bit neutral, let's say, but yeah, still a very fun Pokemon. Definitely re recommending to use it. And yeah, I really hope guys, you enjoyed this video. Definitely press the like and subscribe button to help me reach those 500 subscribers. Hopefully you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Peace out guys.